I'm Erin McDowell and I did my project on reducing food waste, which is a huge global problem and contributes to climate change as well as pollution. 821 million people do not get enough to eat and a third of these people suffer from malnutrition. One trillion dollars of food is lost or wasted every year, which makes up a third of the world's food. And in the U.S. alone, 30 to 40 percent of food is wasted, creating 133 billion tons of waste every year. This is equivalent to the weight of 182 Empire State Buildings. Uh, food waste causes a lot of problems for people. Um, in terms of social injustice, for there's food inequality for people of lower income and minority groups. They experience reduction of food security, which is the accessibility of sufficient nutritional food that meet basic human needs. Um, there's also environmental injustice in there. These food landfills cause unwanted pollution. And food that is deemed unfit for sale that's dumped into these landfills um, could be used by these families that would benefit from it. Problems for the environment. So production of this wasted food uses labor, water, land, energy, packaging materials like plastic, et cetera, and fertilizer. 45 trillion gallons of water spent on wasted food, 25% of the total water used for agriculture. And in the US alone, we contribute 18% of methane emission from annual food waste. This is because as food adds up in these landfills, they um, decompose and break down and this emits methane into the atmosphere. And the total carbon footprint of this is 4.4 gigatons of CO2, which is almost equivalent to the total road transport emissions. There are some solutions to food waste. Um, in developed countries like America, we need to prevent waste at the distribution and consumption level. Because um, in, in this type of scenarios, we waste food at home, we overbuy, um, and there's a lot of FDA regulations on perfectly good food that just gets sent to the trash. Um, so we need to create government-funded food banks in every city and they would have food trucks that collect rejected produce and fresh food from these restaurants and businesses. And these trucks could travel to different areas, um, local towns or parts of the city to prevent food deserts. So essentially we're making sure that people who don't have access to this food, um, that this food will get onto their table. Um, I think that businesses should be, man they should be mandatory to donate these visible rejects or day old food or slightly defected food that isn't optimal for consumers but shouldn't be thrown away because it's perfectly edible and it's safe. In developing countries, we need to prevent waste at the production level. So what happens here is there's a lack of infrastructure and resources. A lot of times that food spoils before it even leaves the farm. Um, they could get moldy or infested due to they're not being properly adequately taken care of or stored. And this could be prevented with um, just proper resource allocation. So we could provide food education. So we could provide farmers with information on how to s store this food. And we could provide protective storage areas. I know the World Food Program um, gave low cost silos to farmers just to um, make sure that their food was leaving the farm and making it into the process of coming to people. Uh, we could federally make more limits on the amount of land and water that's dedicated to agriculture. Um, this could be more regulation of deforestation, less cutting down forests for cattle farm, or just less, less, if we know how much we need, we will need to use less land and less water. And as you can see on this food recovery chart, source reduction, re reducing the volume of surplus of food generated is the most preferred method. Um, and the least preferred is obviously discarding this food into the landfills. And lastly, only take what you need. We in, as individuals can prevent much of our food waste just by not buying so much at the grocery store at one time or cooking only what we need at one time and just not wasting this food. Because reducing 50% of this food waste by 2050 would save us 90 gigatons of CO2 emissions, which is a lot of emissions. Um, yeah, so there's definitely, and another thing is the farther food goes, da goes down or along the food chain, the more resources it uses up and the more carbon emissions it, it gives out. So it's very critical that we need to stop or reduce this food waste at the consumption level. So it's at these countries where food is being wasted the most. And this is my resources. And thank you.